Welcome to the Murder Hobo Show. This is a little video I'm going to put together about uh, for how to make custom miniatures inside of a Tabletop Simulator. Um, a lot of what you see inside of TTS, I'm going to zoom in here, give you the lowdown, give you the give you the looks, the uh, the stuff, the shizzles. Let's increase this guy's size a little bit more. So, so this is a, a two-sided figurine that I've put scripts on for ICRPG. And this is a two-sided figurine that I've put scripts on for um, Savage World. So you can see he's got the 321 incapacitated. The other side's fatigue. He's got parry and toughness. And then on the back, uh, we've got the nice little shaken symbol. I'll zoom in there so you can get a nice good look at that instead of taking a peek at the artwork. And you'll notice that this base is like sand. It's sand on top, it's sand on the sides. And uh, if I flip her over and show you the bottom, there you go. I've got the Murder Hobo Show logo put on there and it's also sand on the bottom. But this is this is called Rokum's uh, 2D miniature, two-sided miniature, something like that. Let's go to the games, let's bust out the workshop and uh, where is the Rokum's Pokum's guy? He's in here somewhere. Here it is. Rokum's uh, Custom 2D Figurines is the one you're looking for. Subscribe to that. It'll give you this stuff. Uh, on this ICRPG table in from my previous videos, you'll find the link to this guy. This guy's actually got the scripts on him. The Savage Worlds one, if you're interested, I could probably drop it on this table too and then just repack it so that you can, you can get them both. But these are... Um, changing the artwork on this so that you have custom miniatures. If you're playing in a forest and you you know you want your players to have instead of sand base uh, like uh, this guy does, you can change this so you can have grass and stuff. That's how I got the different bases over here. Like this guy's in water, the tentacles in water, um, porters on grass. You got blood stained, uh, cracked floors and stuff. If they're running a dungeon adventure, maybe you don't want to, your characters running on grass. You know, maybe you think that might look stupid. But anyways, this is a quick, quick and dirty how to get the uh, the artwork done the way that you want it to be done. So we're going to do a sweet ass little transition over to the Gimpster. And uh, this is the Savage Worlds one, as you can tell, because you can see that it's got uh, 321 written down here. And here is the uh, the blue and red guys, or the blue and purple, that you see in the video. Off to the side, everything is done in layers. So the top of the base, this is the text. You, if you don't want to see the text, you can see that it's going off or on. This is the three, two, one, incorporate or uh, incapacitated. There's the parry toughness, and there's the shaken. You can turn them on. You can turn them off. This one right here says, turn off this example. So you can see that uh, this is, all this is, this layer, this image is just a picture of, of these two guys. And then this is your base layer. Ooh, that gets a little funkadelic. Interesting stuff. Anyways, neither here nor there. Top of the base art goes here. What this means is if you find your own custom artwork, um, sand, moon dust, water, any of that kind of stuff, drag your image into GIMP, cut it into a square about 290 pixels, move it so that it sits underneath uh, where, this, where this one goes. You'll see if I turn off this layer and this layer. You can see it's just a circle. That's all there is to it. Uh, can we zoom in? That's it. She's a circle. He's a circle. We're all circles. That's what this one here is. Top of the base art. Anything that you put in here is going to appear in that circle. There's your sand. Here's your bloody rocks. So if you want to put water, you just find some water art, cut it into a circle, and then drop it into the base and put it on underneath this layer, top of base art here, put it in with this stuff. You wanna change the bottom. You wanna get rid of the Murder Hobo Show logo, get rid of the rock blood. Let's say you wanna do a sandy base bottom, there you go. 
then all you got to do is this 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 particular temp template is for Savage Worlds. Uh, and also too on the side of it, one thing of, of note is the side. If uh, you can see, I've, I'm changing the side art. That's uh, going to show you in the. Uh, let's go back to let's go back to Stimulator. So inside of Stimulator, you can see that this guy is probably the best example. The top is green, the bottom is yellow. But the side is is red, and that's the sidebar that we're talking about. If you want it all to match, like like this guy does, he sand on top. Uh, he is sand on the bottom, and he sand on the side. Back to the old gimster. If you want that to look like that, then you need to have all three pieces put in place here. So you can see that they're sand, sand, and sand. So this is this is just the Savage Worlds one. But here's here's the sweet one. Uh, this is uh, readily available for you guys at, uh, uh, the link will be in the show notes. This will give you access to 126 different images that you can turn off and on that the artwork is already done. Let's say you want to put some shamblers uh, in to side your game. All of the artwork's already there. They're already fit to size. Um, you want to change, uh, what do we got for base bottoms on this one? We don't have anything. The, the, t the ICRPG one only includes sand. You'll have to find your own base bottoms. And then it's just a matter of dragging the art in, uh, putting it in its appropriate layer. Here's the base bottoms. Here's the base tops. You can see that under the base bottoms, I have the Murder Hobo Show if you want to turn it off and on. There's that, and then side sand. So you just cut and paste it, drop it all underneath the frame layer in its appropriate areas, and then just turn off. And, and the cool part is once you do this, once you find some sweet grass that matches your stuff, or you find uh, you know some dungeon floor or whatever, you just drop it in here, and you can change and create and customize any one you want. Let's quickly let's quickly do this guy here. So on the Gimster, I'm going to put down sand, and I'm going to put down sand, drop on the Murder Hobo sands on the side. We're going to hit Export, and we're going to call this guy uh, Shambler. Shambler on sand.png. It's going to save it to my uh, Downloads folder. So if I want to, even if I want to change this, I'm not even stuck with uh, with this guy. Let's go back to the old stimulator. I'm not even stuck with this guy. If I want to change this artwork, I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit custom, and I'm going to go to uh, browse local files, go through my hard drive, and I have saved that guy Shambler on sand. We double click this bad boy, and it's going to say again. We're going to want to upload it to the cloud, which is your own personal storage inside of TTS. You get a hundred gigabytes. There's so much storage; it's insane. And then import it, and it should change it to the Shambler. And there we go. We have some sweet Shambler love. The reason that I don't use the cloud manager is there's no organization. It really, uh, it's just like puts everything in the order of the time you've uploaded it and uh, my OCD kicks in and I need to have a little bit better control. And and that's all there is to it. There's that shambler. I'm pretty sure the other shambler that I have on this table is probably on a different background. Yeah, here he is here. Let's increase his size and you can see that uh, I've got my shambler on some kind of like Aztec floor which is pretty sweet but that's all there is to it you can uh, this file with the hundred and some odd images is available I'll put a link in the video description that's 126 pieces of art that are done for you if you want to do your own artwork for example you just import your artwork clean it up scale it to 490 by 692 that's going to set it into one window uh let's see here so if i go to uh, my tts one uh, i do have some artwork here we'll click on this we're going to hit convert boom there's my artwork so this layer we'll turn this off For the, for the down and dirty, we'll turn this up. We'll click on, oh, that's too much. The threshold is too high, 31. Gotta make sure that this layer has a, an alpha channel and then we'll hit delete. 
we will turn the threshold all the way back up, choose the artwork so that it selects the artwork, and then we're gonna go to layer and crop to selection. You're always working on the layer, you're not working on the image. The image is the overall picture, the layer is just the art that you're working on currently. Move this guy up here. Uh, we're gonna hit select none to get rid of that weird shizzle. Layer, scale layer. Now this particular image is 611 by 773. And we need to be within the boundaries of 490 wide by 692 tall. He fits perfectly. We zoom in to this bad boy. Uh, hit the M key, which is for moving stuff around. We just drop him here. You can choose this layer over here. Right click and hit duplicate layer. And then with the M key, you can move this guy there. Now I have front and back. I would just export this, save it to my folder somewhere, upload it to TTS like I already showed you how to do, and uh, I've got a cool ass uh, warrior, dwarven warrior guy, just like, uh, well, you know, he's already done, because he's right here. I've already previously done him. I would suggest using Imgur, create an Imgur account so that you can track your folders and stuff if you're gonna start playing around in TTS. It makes finding things inside the game super easy. I'm cutting this video short because I don't want to ramble on like I did last time. That's it. That's how you get the artwork into the game. Uh, change your custom tokens. And uh, if you play Savage Worlds, you've got your scripted mini. And if you play ICRPG, you got your scripted mini. Cool. Peace out.